sorry, I'm the commercial break in your program over here. And that's courtesy the sponsor. It's not courtesy me. But uh, delighted to get a few minutes uh, that I can spend uh, just giving you a snapshot in case any of you missed out what was discussed this morning uh, on the large canvas of television. I've tried to just capture some of the essences uh, so that, you know, for many of us who are like uh, married to this kind of a screen, for two minutes put it away and let's think of another screen. So if you want to access India through people's hearts, minds, all their purse strings, television is still the default and go-to medium. I'm going to take a few minutes to explain to you what happened in 2019 and why I believe this statement is true. It is the screen of the household. It is the screen of the household which engages every single individual. It's a medium that's watched together, enjoyed together. Your advertising, you may say, has a spillover, but somebody in that group is influencing what's going to be bought, what you think about the information you're getting, or how you laugh at the joke that's being shared. So a slightly busy chart, but just to give a context to this, a household spends, in 2015, used to spend 4 hours 51 minutes, is now spending more time at 5 hours and 11 minutes a day. Okay, 5 hours and 11 minutes a day. So if you think about that context, that's a large amount of time being spent by a household, which accounts to about 940 billion minutes in a year. Now, at our count, we have about uh, 197 homes with television. There are about 100 million homes which don't have a TV set. So that's the headroom forward for people. Now, earlier this uh, morning, I know Shashi presented a comparison of where the US, Latin America, and other markets. And India, at that average, is still lower than the rest of the markets. So even in the US, people are still spending five hours plus watching television. And let's not forget, in India, it's a, it's a single TV home, which is why that screen belongs to the household. If you look at it individually, it's 3 hours 15 minutes a day that an individual spends on TV per day. 3 hours and 15 minutes. In America, this is 4 hours and 45 minutes, just to put it in context, today. And that's not talking of the screen as a device, but the screen as television, as broadcast linear television. Coming to, coming to it. We may like to believe the common narrative that young people have become cord cutters, have turned out. I hear that a lot. It's a good statement to make. But if you look at it across age groups from two years onwards to 51 plus, people are spending more than three and a half hours a day watching television. Whichever way you cut it, they are sitting there and watching television and enjoying it. And how do they do it? Some of them do it alone. So, you know, there's a lot of co-viewing, about 20% is watching solo, 80% is watching with somebody else. So if you see this chart, it shows 82% here watching with one person, 34% when there are more than three people watching it, and 35% when there are four or five people watching together. So that's a lot of people watching this together. It's not, and it's, this is true across genres. It's true across genres. So even when you come to kids, there's a lot of co-viewing because a parent or an adult or a brother or a sister is watching along with them. If you look at cricket, uh, and which is event-based, so in the IPL, in the case of the World, World Cup, 70% watched it with somebody else, 30% watched it alone. In the case of IPL, clearly family entertainment or household entertainment, 82% watched it together. So that just shows that as a medium, it's a screen for the household. And they love to see ads. 98.5% of those who watch TV see the ads. That's like almost everybody, because 1.5% is, is a number, but it's not a big case. And while uh, in the last year, 2019, relative to 2018, uh, 3% ads, 3%, there was a 3% reduction in the volume of FCT that was delivered. And you can look around you and look at the economy, and you can make that correlation. But what's interesting is that the share of the top 10 continues to go up. 34.8% of the ads are those which come from the top 10 advertisers. And who are they? So uh, just before I come to that, if you look at the category and the growth, over four years, 
because that gives you a context. You know, the movie genre has FCT grow by 12%, the news genre by 6%, GECs by 5% because they don't, they don't permit beyond a certain standard, music by 5%, and so on and so forth. And the big growth is coming from all those other languages, it's not just in Hindi, but it's coming from Telugu, from Kannada, from uh, Gujarati, from Punjabi, from Tamil, from Bengali. So there's growth happening in various parts of India across, uh, across different regions from local advertising as well as from national advertising that's sitting over there. But it's the big three categories that dominate both viewership as well as advertising. That continues to be uh, something that's been there for years, a phenomenon that's been there for years. So it's 82% of viewership which comes from GEC, movies and news and 87% from news. So 50% of viewership comes from GEC, all GECs, regardless of language, but only half, while 25% in terms of FCT share, which is why the prices are what they are over there, and everybody wants to chase that, but they're selective about what they take. When it comes to movies, higher viewership share, lower ad FCT share. In news, it flips over. It's a 9% viewership with 32% of FCT, and that's got to do with the fact that there are many, many news channels in all kinds of languages spread around the country and they run a lot of inventory out there. The rest is, is quite simple. Sports, while the FCT share remains lower, we know it's peaked around a few events. So what is the kind of advertising that you would see over here since many of you will have an interest on it? Top 10 categories, the first is toilet soaps, you know, so which is why it's called the, the soap opera and the soap box, I guess, continues to dominate. Uh, then, you know, not for me, as the social advertising and government advertising, which is picked up a lot, uh, not for my particular hair, but shampoo, again, remains a big, big portfolio. And if you come all the way down here, autos, which are probably targeting more likely the male and sometimes the household, much lower, but it's basically the dominance of, uh, uh, of toilet soaps, washing powders, toothpaste, products that the household purchases and probably uses, some of it is shared, some of it is not shared, but the products that the household purchase dominate that category over there. Top 10 advertisers correlated to this. It's Hindustan Lever, by far the biggest, big portfolio brand, big buyer of time. Record Benkeiser, PNG, ITC, Godrej Colgate. No surprises there. This is, this is a changing phenomenon where you're seeing a big online commerce player, or online retailer, or video player, however you describe it, starting to enter into the top 10 category over there. Otherwise, it remains an FMCG-dominated top 10 category. So, I was told that if I speak for too long, you guys would leave, and I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to do that. I just want to leave you with one thought. 200 million homes spending five and a half hours, individuals spend three and a half hours plus a day watching television, 100 million more homes who don't have a TV set but will get some form of content, whatever that be. This is not a screen that you can afford to ignore. It's not a screen that you can't know less about. So enjoy the evening. Uh, to all of those of you who are nominated and who win, hearty congratulations. I'm sure uh, if, if some of you would have, are aware, we have a series of roadshows going on, and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much.